Welcome, everyone. Um, this is the uh, December 8th uh, Jupyter IPython dev meeting, um, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I think on the agenda, um, I had um, started typing first. So the good news is that we've finally gotten um, hiring for our, our project manager unstuck at uh, UC Berkeley. So the uh, ad should be getting out very, very soon, finally. It's nearly ready to go. should be public very soon. Um, our, uh, I want to reiterate that we have our the the ads for postdocs are out. So remind your colleagues who might potentially apply that they should be putting their applications because we can start reviewing applications uh, this week. So I would I would like to start interviewing applicants very soon so that we can uh, start hiring. Um, so if there are postdocs who would like to apply for those positions, please apply and tell your colleagues. Um, uh, I've been working on the final grant report for the previous HyPython Sloan grant, the, the grant that funded our previous cycle. That's a, that's a big job that has been keeping me busy. Um, the, um, I've been working with Matthias on the um, SSL setup for Jupyter Demo um, and uh, other things for real-time collaboration. Uh, we hit some early hurdles and finally things are now uh, working with the Google Drive backend um, and now we can move forward um, um, on implementation. This led to cleaning up documentation and set up scripts, the, uh, the 76, 7060 um, PR on Jupyter Notebook is one of the things that came out of that work. Um, and uh, I also had to be uh, in Washington DC last week for a few days for um, unrelated stuff. So, um, and uh, that's uh, that's my report. Uh, Brian might join us at the end of the meeting. So we'll see if he can come back and report. And if not, uh, his report is on the agenda. So I think, Sophia, I think you're next. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I didn't get a chance to do as much as I did last week um, this time around just because I've been busy with schoolwork. Um, I have continued working on the documentation for new contributors. I have a PR going and the link is uh, on the hack pad if you want to check that out. Um, and then just some Jupiter Day Chicago planning stuff. Um, and I've also been working on debugging an issue that was opened um, on the notebook, which appears to be related to a PR that was merged uh, a while ago, and, and the links for both of those um, are are on the hack pad. Um, but other than that, not much for me this week, and and probably not for the rest of the week with finals and school and such. Um, so I had a question thinking of Jupiter Days. Um, do do you have uh, because I think Jupiter Day Chicago is the next one coming up. Do you do you have T-shirts? Uh, no. I think I have to coordinate getting those out okay, with. Yeah, Ryan. yeah. Because I think we have we we're probably down to few, so we probably want to think about maybe making a new batch because I think we have a few left here at Berkeley, but just not a lot. Um, so we probably should talk offline about just making a new batch, like yeah. actually ordering a new batch, because I think we're down. I mean, we have a few here at Berkeley, but we don't have a whole lot left. And I think Brian has a few left at Cal Poly, but not a, yeah. not a ton. All right. I will make so a note we should, that. Yeah, we should probably coordinate about like actually making a new order of T-shirts, because I think at, at PyData and between PyData and here, we've probably spent most of what we had left. Okay. I think um, Peter is next. Sure. So I think the biggest thing we did last week was we released uh, uh, packages for the th three incubator projects that work in dashboards, declarative widgets, condom management. They're all Notebook 4.0 compatible now. Before Fantastic. they were 3.2, whatever. So, you know, we're, we're keeping up. And uh, actually, someone today just opened a defect against the dashboard saying it doesn't work with 4.1, so we got more work to do, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, so we'll, we'll keep the ball rolling there. Um, well, it means somebody's really watching because 4.1 isn't released yet, so somebody's basically testing against master. Yep. yep. So and, and if it's not compatible for 4.1, so it might be something we want to fix for 4.1 because it's, I, it's an API breakage. Yeah, don't yeah. don't lose sleep don't don't lose sleep over four one quite yet since four one yeah. isn't out yet. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, we'll we'll take a look at it from our end. I think it's actually back to the jQuery soup of how we plug in our 
our toolbar buttons. It's just now the cell toolbar has moved, and whatever we're using as an anchor is probably moved. We'll, we'll look at it, but yeah, if it's something in 4.1, then you know, we'll just wait. We, we explicitly say we're 4.0 compatible, not 4.1, so yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll be all right. Um, rest of the time, we actually got a couple more requests. People starting to ask about the dashboard work and when the deployment story will shape up in terms of security and scalability and so on, which is a, a big question. Um, we've just finished putting together a roadmap. It's a draft of where we think we can work on those aspects of dashboards, uh, which really involve, you know, touching temp MB and thinking about what does it mean to deploy dashboards securely. So there's a couple wiki pages we put out. I just put something in the, in the, um, Google group. So if folks are interested in this topic, you know, welcome to have your feedback on this. If it generates a ton of traffic and interest, we'll move it to like a pull request against dashboards or something so we can iterate that way. But right yep. now, you know, it's it's just a wiki page and you know we can start in the forum. So uh, I think those are the biggest things uh, from widget side. Gino's not on. I think it was mostly the four dot whatever compatibility, four dot zero compatibility. So it's been keeping us busy. Okay, this is very cool. I see. I see the the deployment roadmap wiki page that you just put out. I, I'm, I'm just looking at it. Okay. Uh, that's it for me. I see Steve Sylvester's next, but says he's not a uh, not attending. So very cool. Action, I think. All right. So um, along the lines of what I shared last week. Um, I have been updating this uh, dashboard demo. It's at the same URL and I linked it in the hackpad. Basically, the idea still is to just get um, a variety of third party content in there. And we're trying really hard to make sure stuff works across the board. So we ran into um, some issues in IE just testing events because it's IE, but um, turns out we can I, do uh, it. What, what, what version of IE? Uh, I could not get our tests to run on IE 11, and it turns out there's just some arcane Microsoft API you use to trigger synthetic events, and then it works. <laughs> but um, okay. But if you want to use the actual event constructors that you're meant to use, like say new keyboard event, that doesn't work. You have to use um, you have to use this API called uh, um, init key event after you use document create event before the tests actually run and even then you have to make sure you're not in compatibility mode which you may be if you're running on intranet which you may be if you're running on a vm basically it's not it's not fun um, uh -huh. but, um if you if you look at the demo that i've linked it's it's sort of more along the line of what the um some of the mock-ups we have for jupiter look like although it isn't specifically meant to be that it's just it, it's Sort of heading in that direction just to give an idea and it's it's a work in progress there's some issues i'm having with uh third party components that have minimum sizes that really can't be addressed by phosphor itself and i'm sort of ironing out those issues um but that's pretty much it the idea is to have a really robust um proof of concept and boilerplate starting point for how to use a drag and droppable dock panel um yeah that's it for me Okay, thank you. I think I'm next. Do you hear me? Yes. Okay, sorry. Uh, you are a bit laggish. So um, <clears throat> uh, now you can directly run notebook on Kaggle. I see that I saw that a few minutes ago, uh -huh. and I've uh, spent. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know where the person who, do, who did that is maybe we can try to see if we can have him around and try to collaborate with them because they rewrote their own ui um which integrates better into kaggle i don't know if they are using um our javascript to to run that um i'm still uh, monitoring a few hours per week to introduce new contributors into uh the Jupyter ecosystem. Uh, I got a lot of good interact feedback uh, through personal questions. It's much better to directly have someone you mentor because they um, are more open to ask you things than to ask it in, in public. And it's again, make me realize that um, our Was communication and the way. On Gitter or on Gitter or just face-to-face -face in Paris? 
Uh, no, no, it was uh, actually through Skype. Um, someone okay. else, which is um, in, in France, um, like we are probably five hours driving away from each other. So two hours on Skype and then exchange uh, of, of mails every now and then uh, for questions, uh, which which is interesting and see that um, it can be scary to start contributing. And the way we respond is sometime, uh, sometimes not appropriate, even if we think we are um, uh, describing things enough for a new contributor. It's not always obvious. There is a lot of uh, pre-required uh, knowledge to understand what we're saying. Um, and and uh, at least I know I'm like that. Um, and, and I will try to, 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 to work on that. But it was really, really interesting to, to see how someone who hasn't touched uh, the notebook for a long time um, is coming back to, to, to the project. For someone who uh, had uh, actually really good patches and who was um, really knowledgeable on how the notebook was working, and in in a couple of months, he completely like uh, uh, lose um, his uh, capacity to, to contribute. So it was uh, really really interesting. Uh, multi selection is in. The PR was merged a little uh, about a, a week ago. Mm -hmm. um, so I updated the future blog post on the announce to reflect the change that has been made. And I uh, tortured a bit all the action in the menu and all the keyboard shortcuts to find what was inconsistent. So there is six to 10 small bugs to, um, to fix um, because actions or commands are not um, being do correctly you applied. Do you think these are, these are actual 4-1 blockers? I think it's really impaired the usage of, of multi-selection. Uh, some of them are blockers, yes, because you, uh, some of them opened, were... Have you opened issues for all of them? Yes, okay. I should have. If I find okay. more, I will reopen more. But for, for example, pasting, pasting a cell would, uh, was actually, uh, pasting a block of cells would actually past nothing. Like you would pass 10 empty cells. Oh, yeah, uh, that's kind of a problem. Obviously a blocker. Yeah. Um, other are more. Did you did you tag them? Did you tag them for one so we see them? Yes. With milestone for one. Okay. Yes. So I think that by like it should be roughly one hour to really test edge cases of everything, write a test and and patch that. Um, if everybody does that, maybe by tomorrow or the day after, we can actually have a beta of the notebook where we are happy with and can try to with the two weeks. Um, Two weeks for the beta, and then we can release um, like four part one just for Christmas. Cool, would be nice, and because we we'll probably not release between Christmas and and New Year's Eve, and after it's 2016, and I really I would really like to have a notebook uh, for 2015. Cool, you know it would be and if we can I, make it that would be great. But but yeah, flagging th these flagging these usability issues uh, is is great. Thank you so much for doing that. Yeah, I mean, uh, I I would really appreciate people going through it also and um, trying different actions with um, so with this is all this is all straight off master, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Um. Yeah, and I've investigated a, a bit after seeing a link on reproducible uh, build, um, how we could generate um. Wheels fight for Python that are um, not changing and can reproduce the, the build step. And it was just a, a small side project um, that I did with other things. And, and that's about it for my, my week. OK, uh, I think it's me next. Um, so we merged the initial prototype of the Phosphide app um, and the JS Phosphide repo. Uh, we're still iterating on that. Um, we've got quite a lot of things to do on there, so the, it's got still not got, not got commands or uh, menus in, but um, yeah, we should be doing them by the end of the week. Um, the next piece we're doing is the command palette. So <clears throat> uh, for those of you who haven't seen what Cameron's done on the design repo, there's there's some awesome mock-ups on the design repo. Um, Darian and I are going to um, start iterating on that and try and get a first draft of the functionality and the UI in for the, for the command palette. Um, and then after that, um, yeah, we need to sync up with Cameron um, and Brian and Chris on that stuff, and need to sync up with Jason on the uh, area uh, repos because uh, he's done some. I uh, saw some commits going in on the input and output areas, which we need to make sure that we're not duplicating stuff on. So um, yeah, that's it for me.
Uh, looks like I'm up next. Um, Wait, Dave, Dave, quick question. Um, can you post up a link to that uh, to that stuff you were talking about with Cameron? You said Cameron uh, yeah. posted up some mockups and everything. That'd be great to see it. Thanks. In the hackpad itself, so that it's easier to find right there. Okay. Um, so I started the uh, generator Jupiter Yeoman template uh, proposal discussion that came out of some work that we've been doing in Continuum around collecting best practices in an actionable way uh, in lieu of in lieu of documentation or to support it or whatever. Uh, I've gotten some really good feedback from a bunch of people that have put a lot of time into the extension process. Uh, a bunch of them are core devs, but you know, uh, we're all users someday, and so um, <laughs> that's been pretty good to start uh, kind of give us a baseline for where we're going to be going with five um, as the approach that we would anticipate using. Um, Stephen uh, Colbert puts, or <laughs> every time Chris Colbert. Uh, suggested some some pretty cool stuff that um, you know eventually the workbench would be the authoring environment and so uh, having it being integrated into the npm stack and the yeoman stack would actually be a really really cool way to create templated projects as people want to get going I want to build a dashboard I want to build a data thing whatever um, use yeoman to be able to generate all those things so that's been driving me in a couple of different directions. Um, I've really been enjoying uh, working on some stuff with Binder. Um, I've got, uh, I took the K3D Jupyter widget and have that bound. Um, it's really quite impressive what they've been able to achieve there. Um, can easily do a couple million points in, in their WebGL renderer and um, can do STL loading and, and neat stuff like that. So that's looking really cool. Cesium widget. Uh, CZM.js is basically Satellite Toolkit SDK, for those of you who know that, but more generally just Google Earth. Um, and that is is pretty much going, uh, helping the folks there kind of get their head around, you know, the NB extension mechanisms and all those things. And, um, and they're, you know, off doing great stuff there. And then um, I'm working on getting that working with NB Present so that there will be a uh, an easy to run demo of that. Um, Related to that is the automated testing, and so I'm reusing the notebook JS test stuff. Um, there's some interesting things that happen in some of my build environments, uh, so that's kind of been interesting about um, some of the Unicode stuff, and then some. There's some differences between master and 406 on how to, you know, do the base URLs and things like that. So, encountering all of those things. Um, but uh, the idea is there is uh, by the 21st, we should have something pretty solid to show on um, on MB Present. Um, kind of backpedaling a little bit on MB Browser PDF is, uh, well, installing Qt and GhostPy and all that stuff is hard. So um, it, it works on Linux. It's good enough for anybody, right? Um, <laughs> and that's about it. Famous last words. Yeah, QT QT is a huge is a huge dependency these days, actually. Well, I mean, one, a thought on that is, you know, in QT five, there is the uh, uh, QT browser engine, which is Chromium, um, mm -hmm. and once we've got Chromium, and it kind of tracks, and it's not WebKit frame. Uh, I think that's really going to open up a lot of interesting things that don't have you going through the Atom route, but you can do more native stuff uh, just with the packages that exist. But uh, PySide 2 is not ready yet, and PyQt is not supporting it yet either. So lots of things to learn there. Cool, thanks, Nick. Um, I think um, Jonathan, you're next. If uh, if Nick, you're done. John, Mick problems. One sec, skip. Okay. Um, so Jason, why don't you go ahead in case John can come back, to having Mick problems. And 
Are you on? Have we lost you? No, I'm just having issues with the Mac, like making Windows disappear. Can you hear me now? We can hear you. OK. Um, yeah, just basically working on Phosphor Notebook uh, stuff. So got input areas, output areas, and working on combining those into cells and notebooks, and then working here and there with uh, talking with men on SockJS. She's not here, but he's been working on uh, having a, a long polling fallback for WebSockets, apparently this is a pretty common complaint on um, Sage Math Cloud, and 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 so it's probably happening elsewhere too. Just Sage Math Cloud is a central place people can complain to that yeah. people aren't the WebSocket connections are not working through people's firewalls, um, even with SSL, which is which seems weird. But but he said there's a complaint every week or two about it. Um, so anyway, uh, then, when when you say he 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 William is Stein. William or he yeah, is William. William, he is William. Oh. Okay. This yeah. is William Stein okay. said there's a complaint he, every he week or two. He gets user reports. He gets That's user right. reports. Yeah. Okay. That's right. And uh, including like large institutions, like labs not being working and things like that. So uh -huh. men got SockJS apparently working. And um, and also I've been interacting with uh, Steve on packaging and, and various things going along with the, the new notebook. Is this is this an automatic fallback that we establish the connections into long polling, or is this a, does this has to be a, a, a an on on setup option where, um, where you switch this? So so there's a couple of different ways we can do the fallback. Um, men decided to use SockJS, which I don't think does reconnections. So so it's not a reconnect and and do a fallback. It's a setup thing. Um, okay. We could we could either write reconnection logic or use a library that does the reconnection logic for us, but those are both more complicated. Okay. But I think eventually we should support reconnections. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I saw a little bit of that thread. Um, I was lurk lurking on Gator yesterday, and I saw I saw a little bit of that thread. <laughs> yes, Min professed his undying love for JavaScript. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely, yeah, yeah. He'll take it to the grave. So let's see if uh, let's see if uh, John, um, John. I don't know if you can hear us, John. Uh, are your mic problems uh, improving, uh, or are we not going to have your voice? By the way, I just noticed uh, if you press and hold the spacebar, it temporarily unmutes your mic. So you can just press the spacebar talk, and then when you let off the spacebar, it mutes your mic again. Cool feature. If that's the only problem he's having, if it's not something more serious. <laughs> John going once. John hello? going can you twice. Hear me? <coughs> yeah, hello, hello, we hello? can. Okay, so yes, we got I, you. I, cool. I had to use the, hey. the the app. I guess the the web browser. Pages that working. <clears throat> okay, cool. We can hear. So, sweet. Last week I was uh, at Cal Poly Monday to Thursday wow. conducting wow. interviews with Brian. <clears throat> Brian was sick. I think he got me sick. <clears throat> so <laughs> sorry about my voice. Um, I'm no longer recording O'Reilly videos, uh, which is cool. Um, but I'm holding on to the microphone just in case they need me to re-record some things later down the line when they're editing the videos. Um, I've been working a lot on IPY widgets. I threw away the Phantom and Casper tests finally, and I'm working mm -hmm. on replacing them with Karma, Mocha, Chai, and Sinon, which is kind of the uh, popular testing packages of the day. Okay, is, um, is that a mix of all four or just one of those frameworks? So or... <clears throat> Kar Karma is, is the thing that that runs the tests on different platform. Mm -hmm. Mocha is the test runner. Chai is the assertion library, and Sinon is a special library for um, spying on comments. Okay, so all it's right. It's just a, a suite of tools. Um, they're commonly used together for doing this kind of thing. Okay. Um, I talked uh, last week to Jason Grout and Sylvan about uh, the path forward for IPY widgets five. Um, and that's clear now. I need to finish this testing stuff. Um, and after that, we're just kind of waiting on Notebook 4.1, and then we can release 5.0 and start work on 6.0. Uh, 
which will contain a lot of refactoring and uh, modernization of IP languages. Okay, I'd, I'd, I'd like to mm. kind of loop into that conversation as soon as we get 4.1 out the door, because yeah. I, I'm i very, that thread has been running in the back of my brain, uh, causing mm. a lot of anxiety to, yeah. <laughs> for me uh, for for a while. I just haven't had the bandwidth to dig into it. So I'm, I'm glad to hear you guys are thinking about it, and I'd like to talk to both, to all three of you about it. Yeah, because yeah, I'm, no, that, I'm, that's great. I'm, very, I'm, I'm extremely concerned about that question. Uh, yeah. And I really, really, really would like to talk. And I, I know that all three of you are thinking about it hard, and I'm very happy to hear that. But but I'd like to, to, to whenever you guys have a chance to to maybe take an hour for it, we, we can set up a, a chat and, and talk about it. Yeah, but I would love get, to do that. Let's, yeah, but let's get 4-1 out the door first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I also need to kind of formalize it too. So, I mean, we'll talk to you oh. first, and then we'll put it on the roadmap, and everything Great. should be clear Great. for everybody. No, but I I love to hear that your your brains are kind of on it because I I don't want to let I don't want to let IP widgets kind of drift. I I think we really 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 need to dig into them. Yeah, and I I think um it's especially important you know with things like BQplot and libraries absolutely. that are already depending on it. So absolutely, absolutely. No, it, it's precisely seeing seeing what was happening with BQplot and myself using BQplot a little bit. I mean, I haven't used it in anger, but I've I've played with it and seeing BQplot kind of at the edge. Of potential and yet some limitations because of limitations in IP widgets that really got me concerned. And I talked briefly with Sylvan when he was here in town, but 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 I really want to make sure that we we do we do things right with it. And I also think that actually with thinking about Peter and the IBM team, that I want to make sure that we don't do things wrong with IP widgets that could potentially harm some of the things that are being done by the IBM team with dashboards and and other things that that could potentially be harmed by that mm -hmm. because when we begin thinking about um, deployments of, of dashboards and other things, if if you think about doing things in a car, especially in a kernel-less context, we're going to need to do certain things with with, with widgets correctly uh, uh, also for those efforts. Uh, and so the, the strategy for, for, for widgets needs to be <laughs> sort of done right. Yeah, no, I understand. Anyways, that, that concludes uh, me for this week. Okay, cool. Um, I'll just mention, Sylvan's not here, but I'll just mention that he's been working a lot on widgets outside of the notebook and particularly supporting BQplot. So uh -huh. having Great. a gallery of BQplot uh, plots that work Wonderful. because the widgets and widgets work in normal web pages. And yeah, yeah, he's yeah. also been working a lot on BQplot. Great, I'm glad to hear that. I'm very <laughs> I should glad say. to hear that. I think Jonathan was being fairly literal when he said he was choosing the framework of the day, given the JavaScript ecosystem. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no comment on that. I don't want to give Min more ammunition. <laughs> okay, I don't know if Brian uh, is Brian back by any chance. I think he's the only one that we skipped. Other than, I mean, we know Steve. Steve Sylvester is just not here today. Um, um, also, Chris Colbert said he might actually join, but I didn't see him. I think it's Colbert. <laughs> Colbert. Yeah, Chris. Chris, Chris can't make it. Too. He can't. Okay. Right. Um, okay. So Brian's not in. Um, so we're down to the bottom of the agenda. Um, so the one topic that I think we want to dig into, and whoever wants to clock out of the meeting, since we're kind of at the bottom of the agenda, it's cool, uh, with whoever's left, is uh, really 4.1. I think we really, um, I'd like kind of a status check on uh, what we have for 4.1. Uh, let me, let's open up the milestones. Do we want to close the meeting and reopen the one for 4.1? Um, to, to, to kind of keep the video um, on point. Yeah, stop. Yeah. Stop. Stop the recording. Upload that later and make a separate for one meeting. That's, prob Even that's now, probably. Even now. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. I I can do that. Okay. Um, so okay. by internet. Alrighty. Um. Okay. I'm gonna stop the recording by internet.